hi YouTubers. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using um, the little plastic thing that comes on the cell phone. I'm going to take my cell phone out for a moment from its case so I can show you what I mean. Um, sometimes what you end up getting is in these little blister packs and they're sometimes about nine or ten bucks. They sell them for like the iPads and the, the Apple iTouch, the iPhones or any kind of cell phone or any kind of um, electronic device that has a touch screen. It protects, it's a screen protector. It's a universal screen protector or screen shield as you see here. I believe I paid about five or six bucks for these. They're used for digital cameras, uh, camcorders, cell phones, or anything where you would have a screen that you might have to touch and you want to protect. This one came with, um, it was a cut, cut to size. I don't even know. I think there was like two or three of them in here for like five bucks. And I found it to be very expensive. And here I have one on my phone. I'm going to show you as I peel it off because it's getting quite bubbly already. So it's, it's peeling up. And I'm going to peel that off. And you can see I have a nice, smooth, protective, clean surface because I've always used one of these. Now what I have here, and I've saved it, is the original, the original sheet from the phone when I first got the phone. And what I did, I'm going to show you an easier way to make these for your phone or your camera or whatever touch screen that you wish to protect using window decals, clear window decals. I found these in my local big lots. They were $2.99. They came 10 clear, 8.5 by 11 sheets. You can print on these. Um, I wouldn't suggest printing on them. However, you might want to put a little tiny logo or something that might show up well in an un conspicuous area on whatever touch screen you wish to cover. However, what I did, this is one of the sheets out of the pack, and what you see here is it, it tells you image on other side. So if I was going to print on this, obviously this is the side I would want to print on. Um, so if it says image other side this way, right side up, then this is the side you would print on. And if you look at it, there's like a little off-centered grid. I mean, the, it's a, it's obviously like a grid you see here, like graphic paper. But if you look, there is a little off-centered area right here where they don't really meet up the lines. And that's because if you turn it over, you bend it at that point, you can peel this up. And you can see that it's clear at that point. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to put it back together, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own touch screen protector, shield. I'm going to clean this with just a piece of a paper towel, or in this case it's toilet paper. I had a little piece here. And I'm just going to clean off the screen and make sure that there's nothing on the screen that's going to get under the film and cause any bubbles and not enable a good seal between the shield, the clear plastic, and the screen. Okay? And I pretty much think I've successfully done that. Okay? Now what I'm going to do after I've cleaned that is I'm going to take the old shield as I said before, that came with the phone. So what I did was I took an index card. These are lined index cards. And I took one of them and I took the unlined side. And I mapped out, here I'm showing two more, I mapped out the original sticker that came on the top of my touchscreen telephone. This is not an iPhone, but it fits just like this on the top of the phone. And I took the clear uh, window protector for my screen on my touch screen phone and 
I took a plain white cardstock and what I did was I outlined it with a pen, just a ballpoint pen. You can use a pencil or a marker, whatever's easiest. I didn't want to write on the, uh, you know, the plastic shield thingy. And I cut it out. And I actually made two more because if I cut them out and I double them up and I stick them together, I'm thinking I'll have a much more sturdier and thicker uh, template to use for later on. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the one template. And I hope... Okay, this is the side the image is supposed to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning this over. Let me see if this works. No, that's not going to work that side. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I can use pen on this side. So this is the side I'm going to peel it from. So what I'm going to do, so you can see, is I'm taking my template. It doesn't matter which side you lay it on. And I'm butting it up to the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my lines around the outside of my template. Okay, so now you see my lines, and I'm basically just going to cut around this area and leave this area straight. So I'm going to show you real quick as I cut. Now this is going to, I've actually mapped it out. One on either side of here will make a total of 10 protector shields per 8.5 by 11 window decal sheet. But now remember, you can use these for any touch screen type electronic gizmo, whatever it is that you have. It doesn't have to be a mobile phone that has touch screen. It could be a GPS unit that has touch screen, a digital camera that has touch screen, camcorder. I'm just going to cut this straight out like that. And then I'm going to finish cutting out the rest of where I have it outlined. So pretty much that's my guide. And now what I want to do, this is the side where it's a little off-centered, where I can actually bend it and peel it. And again, I stress that it is so important that you clean off your screen very well so that there is no dirt or hair or anything that's going to come between your screen and your shield. And this is side down. I'm going to try not to touch that side. And I'm going to lay it down. Don't mind the dog. Where it needs to go. The little lanyard's getting in the way. And I'm going to try to... There we go. You want to try to get all the air bubbles out when you do this because that in addition to any kind of hair or pet fur or anything like that that you get in there will make for a not so good bond and what will end up happening is it will eventually lift and separate off the screen and cause you issues down the road. So. I've pretty much got all the bubbles out, but this is something that came with the original touchscreen. You can use a regular card. This one is sort of laminated. It has like smooth side. You want to press all the bubbles out. And if you can, just work all those air bubbles out. Okay, a little at a time. Just work them out, work them out. And you might have to lift it up and lay it back down. You just want to try to get all those little air bubbles out of it. 
So there you have it. I have a brand new touch screen. It's not as good as I would like for it to be. I would I would have liked it to be on there a little better. But it's a lot better than the one that I had on there. Because the one that I had on there was really lifting up and it was a bad situation. But there you have it. I have a new screen for my phone. And when I put my case back on my phone, so I'm going to pull my lanyard through. Excuse me if I'm getting out of the view of the camera here. And there you go. Turning on my phone. Then I'll continue to work these bubbles out over time. I'm sure they'll they'll come out of there. The more it connects. My phone's starting up. And you can't even see, you can see beautiful screen. I'm able to touch my menu, go through my stuff. My calculator, so on and so forth. So it's working pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. So there you have it. This is my little tutorial on how to save money on protector screens for all your electronics. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos.